Good morning, world. Last week, we talked about signs of burnout. So you knew that naturally this week, we would be talking about tips for preventing burnout. And to jump right on in, first one is self-care. I talk about this all the time because self-care is critical. We're making a lot of demands. We're asking a lot of our bodies. And in order for the body to be able to carry through and do all these things we ask of it, we need to be taking care of it. That's why self-care is so important. And this self-care does not just mean your physical body. This means your physical, emotional, your mental, your spiritual being, everything. You have to take time to take care of yourself in every possible way in order for your body to be ready to do the things you're asking it to do. Two, maintain an effective work-life balance. We spend a lot of time at work. It doesn't matter how much you love or dislike your job. It, it is important that we are taking time, some of that personal time, some of that laid back time, some of that relaxing time, some of that time to take care of ourselves. Maintain an effective work-life balance, meaning that as much as you spend time working and growing your career and doing things at work, it's important to take time to be on your own, to relax, to spend time with family, to engage in those life-affirming activities. Three, Prioritize, schedule, and organize. This is very important because in organize, when you are organized, you spend a lot, of, a lot less time trying to figure out what you should be doing and a lot more of your time actually doing the things that you need to do. Prioritizing allows you to take things as they are needed so that you're not wasting time or engaging in things that are not necessary. So that you're not wasting time doing things that you could be, that could be delegated. So that you're not spending time doing things that are not due yet, but why and then find yourself rushing into things. So take time to prioritize all the things that you have to do. Schedule them into your day and make sure that you keep yourself organized so that you are more efficient. Four, address conflicts in a timely manner. This is important because the longer you let conflict fester, the more draining it becomes, the bigger of an issue it becomes. As you allow conflict to fester, whether it is conflict with another, with a colleague, a client, another person, or co personal co internal conflicts, because sometimes the work that you're doing, things with the things that you're engaging in can be can present conflicts for you. So make sure that you are addressing any type of conflict as it arises, whether it is internal or it is with another person and finally teach nurture and delegate this is important because in order to be able to maintain the most effective or the most efficient work-life balance it's all it can be important to delegate and many of us have this issue of not being able to delegate because sometimes we feel that you know nobody does it as well as i do well if you take time to teach people to do things, some of the things that you may need to delegate at some point, you nurture other individuals to grow into the organization, to do, to learn to do some of the things that you excel at. Eventually, you will be able to trust someone to do certain things for you because you know what? You taught them. They had the best teacher in learning how to do this, that, and the other. So, Take time to teach others to do some of the things that you do because you want to be valuable to an organization, but you don't want to be invaluable because if you are the only person who knows how to do this, that, and the other, that means they're always going to be relying on you to do it and there's always going to be a demand for you to do certain things even when you may not have the time, energy, or desire to do it. So teach, nurture, and delegate. So quick recap. One, self-care because, hey, your body is doing a lot for you and you need to be taking care of it. Two, work-life balance. Maintain a, maintain a level and effective work-life balance because, yes, we need to work, but it is also very important that we are engaging in life-affirming activities. We're keeping life exciting. Three, prioritize, schedule, and organize because that is the way to make sure that you are using your time most effectively. Four, address conflicts in a timely manner because the longer you allow them to fester, the more draining they become, the more problematic they become. And finally, five, teach, nurture, and delegate because when you teach other people to do some of the things that you can do, you create an opportunity for other people to be able to take things off your plate when you need them to. And of course, because you taught them, you know they're going to be good at it because 
they had you as a teacher. And that is pretty much it for today. Good morning world. Have a great day.